Mike, what do I owe? Uh, so right now you go about two hundred thousand dollars on your operating costs. So we got a very big problem though with that. We've been looking at your finances. We've been trying to get our crunch the numbers, see how we can make this possible. Problem is, even if we were split it up into a ten-year plan, your interest strikes are gonna shoot through the roof. You're not gonna be able to pay for much of this stuff. But give me one more year. I'm, Just I'm one sorry, more year. We can't. Even if we can divide that up, there you're not gonna pull enough money. You're looking at at least almost 20 grand that you're gonna need to get this year. And with prices keep going down and the market's just crashing, you're, there's no way that you're gonna break even. Not the whole farm. I'm sorry, bud. We started this in the 50s, Mike. I'm sorry, I know we've been good buddies, but I can't, my hands are tied, I can't do anything. This is the money of the bank that you're talking with, not me. We'll see what I can do, Mike. We'll see what I can do. I got a plan. All right. Guys, I don't know. I don't know how we're going to make it through this right now. Corn's at $1.50. We are not profitable by any means. We're barely profitable to even put... We're barely even profitable to put seed in the ground. Like, we are almost at the point where I just... I don't even plant anything because the loss is so great even though we have so much fixed cost uh, with land. The banker... I uh, You guys probably heard the phone call, but uh, they're going to call the loan on everything. The operating loan... Uh, the land loan, that's variable. That's at 15% interest right now. Interest is just getting racked up like crazy, and I can't... I, we, I, I just can't do it. Paul Volcker. I, uh, I've been having a little bit of trouble with myself. Finance-wise, I'm not doing as bad because I got stuff going with uh, Holland and Sons right now. Yeah. But uh, they're talking about possibly sending me down to Mendota to one of the other locations or somewhere around Illinois because mm -hmm. as for right now that spot is fine but they have to start letting a few people go since it's, it's the finances just aren't that much as much there right now Buck I think I gotta sell the farm I, I, I don't even have a choice See, this I is think why they're I gonna take the farm to, this is why I told you not to buy that sports car I sold the sports car already this, this is why dad never trusted you with the money the equipment I, I bought from you it's probably worth 30 40 grand less right now I don't know how the heck. I mean, I I could pitch in, but the problem is, is I'm almost in the don't, same boat you don't, are. Don't don't. It's just gonna ruin you for the long term. Don't probably. even try it. I, mean, I, I don't know. Probably at least help at least keep you somewhere if you needed a place to stay. Yeah. I. That's about all I can really offer you right now. I I think the best chance is just to get out of this on top. If we can get out of this on top with equity, take home equity. I go. got. It. I'm. I say I can get the forty twenty on my place sold, but the rest of the stuff I'm able to hold on to. Yeah. Because I own it all. I paid everything else off. I don't know how much of this stuff have you paid off. Most of the land we have equity in. The land has a lot of equity in it. Which I'm gonna. I want to keep the land, but all this equipment's all borrowed. The land has some equity in there. They're still gonna call it off, and I. I don't want to leverage land like crazy. I, how much did Mike say you owed him? 200 grand on operating, which we could get. We can get. We can get if we start selling some stuff off. One way or another, it's either you get the stuff and you walk out on the high ground, or they come in and do it for you. Yeah. How much could I get for the 8760? I'd say it right about now. I couldn't tell you, but it's something is 30%. better than nothing. Yeah. Okay. We'll sell the 8760. Uh, we'll sell the 4755. We'll sell. I want to sell the. V, your V Ripper. Yeah, we'll sell too. the V Ripper. We'll sell the combine. We'll sell the 1086. Sell all the cows. Just have them gone. Kill bros. Both wagons. Grain cart. We can't get rid of Chet's truck. You cannot get rid of Chet's truck. That was a gift. We'll keep Chet's truck. Keep the trailer. Farm's going. Gonna... I gotta sell the grain out of the bins. Cattle. I'm keeping my pickup truck. Keeping the trailer. And I'm keeping the. I'm just lucky enough that I actually got that truck. I got a new one. That paid off. We'll keep the 1206. <sighs> I just don't know, guys. I just don't know. I think we can get out of this pickle somewhat. But if the land prices keep going down here, our land and equity in that land is going to keep dropping too. I mean, our net worth is going to keep dropping. I don't know. I just can't afford to keep farming right like this. I don't know, we're gonna have to pick up another job of some sort. I think what I'll do is start custom trucking. That seems like the most obvious since we have Chet Semi still. We could custom truck, make some income. Gosh, I don't know. So what exactly do you want to load up first? Well, if you take the 89 or the 87, um, and then I can take a load of stuff too. Um, okay. 80, maybe we'll put all the deer on one trailer, all the, all the international on the other. We's see. Okay. I said the 87 is going to fit on this one the best because I got those wide ramps. Okay. I'm just going to leave the three point on it. I don't even care if we get a ticket. Can't even afford it anyways. I got to turn around. Hang on. 
Oh, I think we probably put 10 hours on this tractor, if that. Bob, can you scooch those ramps closer? Yep. Thanks. Keep coming. There you go. Back it up. Stop. Right there? Uh, maybe a little more forward. Stop. So you just had to get it over the top of the axle. Over the top of the wheel. Okay, I'll load up the 1086. And the yep. combine. Well, let's load up the combine first. Here I was. Thinking everything was going to work out good and we could expand our operation. It was the exact opposite. Cause you're a fool for the city. Buck, shut it. <laughs> Money for nothing and your chicks for not for free now. Yeah, that should work. Pull her forward and then drop her down. Should be able to drop her down here. Keep going. Oh. Say back it up a little bit. You're back. Yeah. Right there? Yeah. See if you want to get that strap down, I'm going to try and get this thing out of your driveway. I'm not sure if that ripper is going to be too wide for your entrance. I'll follow you to the dealership. Buck, promise me you're going to be able to sell these. Get some money out of these. Yeah, we could probably get them sold. How are equipment sales? That's what I'm wondering. So far, they're not doing half bad. We actually have Seriously. quite a bit of stuff. So, so far, I so mean... I think you're in luck. We do a lot of transports in between other dealers and whatnot. I think we're going to be able to get this 8760 sold down in Kansas on a wheat farm or either up in Montana for uh, chickpeas. Huh. There's uses definitely for a lot of this stuff. The problem is we're just going to have to kind of figure out and fine tune how we're going to get this stuff in, get this stuff out of here. Yeah. Well, let's get her unloaded. One last ride. I think I'm actually going to bring this one in the shop so we can kind of get it on an inspection because there is a guy that's waiting down in, I, b I believe, Kansas. He's looking, looking to buy one of these. Okay. See if we can get little Bob on it. Well, hopefully some of this equipment sells good. Should, if you got a couple buyers lined up. We'll let them get take yeah. care of that. Well, Buck, I'm gonna... I guess this is uh, goodbyes. I'm not oh, sure where see. life takes us. Like but I said, I'll try and keep best. in touch on some stuff. Uh, I guess if anything, send me a letter. Where yeah. the heck you kind of end up? I mean, do you have an idea? You can try and, I mean, te I'm technically try you can just move back into grandma's. Not, not the end for now. It's not really an end. It's not really a so long, more of a see you later. See you we'll later. be back at it at some point. The sometime. Murphy Bros aren't gone yet. Sometime we'll get back together. Sometime. Hopefully. But. Well, I'll see you, bud. Yeah. Take care. Don't die. Please. Last thing we need. We'll be good. <laughs> we'll be safe, Buck. Right. Uh, okay. We'll see you later. Thanks, sir. <laughs> I'm not sure where this adventure takes us, but we got to find a job and see what we can do in the future. We'll see. Out of Wisconsin, we go. All the memories. Not this land, but Iowa. Where we grew up, Murphy Bros. It was great. The 80s, we just couldn't handle it. <laughs>